Welcome to Physics Lab. Today's lab is reaction time. We have wow. a guest. They call so, me the midget man. <laughs> so let's get it started. Uh, he's an AP Physics student at Malwan High School. All right, let me see. Uh, what I want you to do, I want you to put your hand at the zero. All right, can you put your hand at the zero? Is this zero? Yeah. How many centimeters? Uh, it seems like 14 and a half or something. Let's 14, say 15. Uh, yeah. Okay. The second. Trial numero oh, dos. That's right. Zero. Again, zero. Okay. Zero. Ready, set, go. No, you zero. Zero. Yes, no cheating. Okay. How many centimeters? Centimeters. So you're getting worse. Hey. Doesn't really matter. Hey. Two. What is it? Seven. See? Zero. I'm getting better. Seven centimeter. Point zero seven. All right, now this time I want you to write, I love physics. Text it to your mom. <laughs> All right. Make sure your mom has to receive the text. Uh, ah, okay. Okay, let me try Twenty centimeter point two zero. The data collected. If we add them up, let's add them up and divide by three. So we're gonna get zero point one four meter. And let's add them up and divide by three. We're gonna get zero point three six meter. We wanna find T one and we wanna find T two. Of course, T two would be bigger than T two would be bigger than T one is because because. The person was distracted during the T2 because he was using cell phone and trying to catch the ruler at the same time. Okay, now let's see how much bigger it is. It's equal to VAT plus half AT squared, and this is T1. D is equal to VAT plus half AT squared, and this is T2. Of course, initial velocity is zero. When you drop something, initial velocity is zero. And acceleration due to gravity, we're gonna use negative 10 so that we don't have to use the calculator. Don't forget the unit. Unit is important. Uh, D, uh, for this one, we're gonna use point 14. Don't forget to use negative 14 because it is falling. So the direction is to the south. South means, of course, a negative. Don't forget that. Half negative 10 t squared. So you have t is equal to negative negative cancel. Uh, you have uh, the 2 goes to negative 10 negative 5 times negative negative cancel. So 0 0.14 divided by 5. So t is equal to 0 0.167 second. Now let's do this one. d is equal to 0.36. 0 0.36 but that is wrong put negative over here is half negative 10 t2 squared now let's see how t how big t2 is uh, so t2 has to be equal to uh, the 5 is on the bottom because 2 goes to 10 uh, negative 5 times and then negative negative cancel and then this is 0 0.36 and the t2 gonna be 0 0.267 okay so T1 is 0 0.167 second and T2 is 0 0.267 second. All right, so our hypothesis is correct. T2 is bigger than T1, of course. Why is that? Because the person was distracted. Now, we're gonna finish this problem. Now let's draw the scenario over here, the person, Initial velocity is 29 meter per second with constant velocity. And as soon as the, the, the person sees someone crossing the road, he slam the brake. But that's not what we're trying to solve. We are trying to solve the moment he decided to slam the brake. How far did he drive? The moment he decided to slam the brake. He didn't slam the brake yet. He just decided to slam the brake, okay? 
if he did slam the brake, then the car would come to stop and there would be a deacceleration and whole different another thing. Okay? So he did not slam the brake yet. He decided to slam the brake. How far did he move by the time he decided to slam the brake? Because he's, he saw someone crossing the road to save him. So again, D is equal to VAT plus half AT squared. Many people put negative 10 over here as we put negative 10. Hey, look, this one is a vertical motion. This one is vertical motion. This ruler was in free fall and this car is not, not in free fall. This car is not, uh, uh, not in free fall. So acceleration due to gravity is zero. So this become a problem like a good old velocity problem. So D is equal to 29 times the, pro the, the lab asks you to use the undistracted one. So, so times uh, 0 0.167 and distance would be about 4.8 or 4.9. Uh, I'll just write 4.8 but uh, but I'll just write 5 because I'm not going to use the calculator. I'm going to round it to nearest whole number. 